The scooter, great one. Come, Sarah. So, first of all, Sarah's going to do the scooter. Sarah's on the shorter side. So we want to give her something to stand on to elevate her. Is that, is that yes, because I always have trouble feeling. Feeling that exercise. Good. So we're going to feel it tonight, I assure you. Uh, you know, if you just passed me those pads, probably two pads. Yeah, well, I've got a better idea. Uh, let me get this. This is going to be perfection for you. Okay. There's one other thing I'm going to do with Sarah, and that is I am going to lift the football because she's going to have to reach too far to the football. So I am totally taking care of you. I brought you a mat. I've raised the football for you. I could not do anything more other than give you a spring, right? I was going to have you do five springs. That wouldn't be nice. Okay, so I've got her on one red. I've got her one red on the third gear. I would debate between one red or a red and a yellow, just a little bit heavier. So those who have balanced body equipment, a red and a yellow is equivalent to the green spring. The green spring's a, a heavier spring. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to say to Sarah is this arm is not aligned. This arm has got to be aligned with her shoulder. This arm cannot be aligned with her shoulder. But this arm's got to be aligned with the shoulder. I like the fact that her hand is wrapped around, not tensely, but wrapped around the bar rather than her thumb on one side. All the fingers are together. I like the fact that she lined up her heels on the same vertical line. She's bent this knee. Do you feel comfortable? She's in the exact same C curve, Siobhan. Where's Siobhan? Uh, that's okay. Uh, as, as your roll up. It's that same C curve. Who of you are coming to our Learn from the Leaders Conference in May? Grace? Good, good. So one of the workshops, uh, there are going to be great workshops there. Many of our faculty are teaching awesome workshops. One of my workshops is dedicated completely and entirely to this C curve. We need to finally nail this C curve. Okay. You're perfectly set up. If you don't move anything other than that hip joint, you're doing well. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, go a bit further. Go, 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 go. Go a little further, about there. And exhale. How do I know how far to go? As long as she can maintain a stable pelvis, she can go back. But I feel at about that point, she's going to lose her pelvis because that's the length of her hip flexors. And exhale. The tighter your hip flexors are, the less you can move. Inhale and exhale. The, you can't go as far back. Inhale and exhale. Shoo. The work is on the way in. And exhale. Shoo. And in. And exhale. Shoo. And inhale. And exhale. Shoo. And inhale. And exhale. Shoo. And that's enough. Looking really good. Let's see your other side. Really good shape, good dynamic. She started a little slow, and then I said, just pick up the dynamic a little. She's really good. Nice work, Sarah. Nice. nice. Sarah, be a little kinder to yourself here. Sneak in a little bit of room for this hand. Okay. Now, wait a minute, wait a minute. You're good, you're good. Just 
bend that knee a little more. Now you've started pulling too far away from the football. This side's a little more difficult for you to set up. The other side, you nailed straight away. Let's see why that is. Okay, and inhale as you go out. Exhale. Inhale as you go out. Don't be shy. Inhale as you go out. Exhale. Not so fast. A little slower. Inhale as you go out. Ex you could go a little further. Exhale. Slow it down slightly. Inhale. Now, control it. And inhale. Control it. And inhale. And control it. Inhale as you go down. Exhale. And inhale. And exhale. Very nice. How did you feel? Yeah. You definitely yeah. felt it. Yeah. Lovely. Yeah, you looked really good. You looked really good. Looked really good.